30. 14 of the 25 are back, right? How big is that for this club to have so many people back? And how much is this team ahead of the game already? It's always nice to have some players, you know, back. And uh, the fact that uh, they, they, they knew how to play together last year and, and the fact that, uh, you know, we won the championship, that, 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 that is huge. So I'm hoping that those 14 players also help out the rest, you know, because you know, Jones. Last year, the Hunter, trying to get to the playoffs. You finally get it right at the end of the season. This year, you already got the name. Everybody's coming for you. Do you manage different? How how tougher is it knowing you're getting everybody's A game every time? You, you know what? Every year is different. So it's over. Yeah, it's always nice to to know that you know we are you know the champion team. But it's over. It's literally over. This is a new season, and we're just gonna have to to respect every single team and go out and do our best. There's so much talent here. There's so many different personalities here. Is it difficult as a manager to handle these personalities? Or is that kind of, do you rely on the assistant coaches? You know what, if you treat every single player with respect and, and, and if you are honest, you know, you should be able you know, to, to help each individual. But um, this is a team effort. So I really uh, pay attention to what, you know, the coaching staff, you know, is doing. And, and they are a huge help of every uh, ball club we have in the minor league system. George said, every team in this league should be worried about us. Why? Well, uh, that shows a lot of confidence, but uh, I respect that. And uh, I'm also going to respect every single team we're going to play because we know that um, you know, every team is hard to beat. So. What is this team? I don't don't compare, but how? where is this team talent-wise opening day? It's high. We have... Uh, a pretty good um, starting rotation. Uh, we're good in, in the bullpen, and, and we have players who can play defense too and can swing the bat. So we, we are strong in all areas, and we just have to go out there and compete and show what we're capable of. Switch over to Daniel here for a second. You've, you've had quality pitchers come up through this, through this organization. How special is that kid, and why is he so special? Um, I was talking to Jim a while ago, and I was telling him that uh, one of his outings in spring training, he was averaging 95.5 miles per hour. And uh, that's impressive. You know, if you can consistently throw around 99, uh, that means that you threw some pitches over 100 miles per hour, right? And, you know, the fact that he's so young and, and is capable of, of throwing, you know, more than two, three innings, at, uh, you know, that... Uh, I mean, that hard, I mean, it, it says a lot about him and, and I'm just, I, I can't wait, you know, to see him, uh, you know, during the season. Let's talk about his pitches. Obviously the fastball's got some the slider. How good is the slider? How good is that 12-6 change or curve? Yeah, all his pitches are way above average. So um, he's electric. So you guys are going to have a good time uh, seeing him here in Akron and I can't wait, you know, for him to start pitching. Is it hard to keep the reins down? and let him develop? Or is this one of these things where you just kind of let him go do his thing? You know, the minor leagues is about, is about you know, developing players and, and also helping them, you know, how to win ball games. Um, I feel it's a little bit of both, but uh, it's just a matter of, of him going out there and, and competing and show that he can do that consistently. If it's the, who's the starting rotation going to be this right here? Uh, I don't know yet. Owen Du is not here yet. He will be pretty soon, so we're going to sit down and talk. But we have an idea. Just uh, we still have to make a couple of decisions. But obviously, Spin is going to be one of them. Uh, Logan Allen is going to be another one. Uh, Kerry is going to be another one. But yeah, uh, by tonight, we will know uh, who are going to be the rest of the guys. Okay. So the 95.5 was at the Reds game? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem.